Grapes Productions Presents Useful Things You Can Do on a Mac Episode 7 Screen Sharing Hello and welcome to Useful Things You Can Do on a Mac Episode 7 In this episode I'm going to show you how to uh, use screen sharing in OS 10 Leopard and Tiger and of course this works uh, in both so first you gotta go into system preferences and then sharing and make sure the remote management checkbox check is clicked at least and remote login just lets you um, log in and log out from the other computer as well and once that's done you need to go to the other computer and make sure that that is done in Tiger this was Leopard by the way and on, on, I will show you the other computer in 5432 so on the other machine with Tiger and uh, how we're gonna do this on Tiger is we're going to um, go into system press again and sharing This computer is somewhat old, so it's slow. And for this, for a Tiger, it it is Apple Remote Desktop, and you got to make sure that's clicked. And then um, you can maintain access privileges from there as well. And then just do that. Anyway, so that is. That and then now I will show you how to work so this. Now well. I'm going to show you uh, how to connect to the other computer from my computer in Leopard. So what you do to start with is go into your home drive, hard drive, whatever. Go to the selected computer that you wish to connect to. Then you hit the share screen button that will be there. If it's not there. Then you have to edit the preferences some more in uh, System Press, which I showed earlier. And there's two ways to do this. Um, you can do it by knowing the password or by asking for permission. And that what it does is it pops up a little window on the other computer. says, do you want um, this computer to be able to control you? And you hit yes or no. So I'm going to do this. And if it does that, and you know that the password is correct, just hit OK, and then hit Connect again, and it will do its thing. So here we are. There are many different options with this uh, that you can mess with, uh, for instance, in View full quality which just basically slows it down and you can make it the actual pixels so that when you move like that it adapts to it and yeah so then basically you can just do whatever this can be very useful if you decide you want to spy on someone and mess them up yeah. It's, it's quite fun. I, I've done it many times. Anyway, so um, I guess that's it. So, and then, and um, if you, the other thing is, if you do Apple Q when you're on screen sharing, the application screen sharing shown up here, it'll just quit something on the other computer. So you have to manually go up to here and do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching.